Hello, welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from June 27th to July 2nd, 2022. Scorpio, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this current week. I apologize, I am late. Heavy schedule, so I'm gonna do my best. Um, to post and upload a few signs for the weeklies. Uh, Scorpio monthly, the monthly is up already. Money and career for July 2022 is up if you want to check that out. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. So, Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. What is happening, Scorpio? Anxiety plus. Is it a job? Is it a situation? Um, it, it is something that seems difficult. Um, you are in control. You are staying in control of your finances. It seems like you don't want to share much, but you're, you're managing your finances and you're... Um, but you want to remain in control of a situation. Very important for you. Follow your intuition. Seems like you want to open up to learn something new. Open up to different knowledge, different people. Um, you're at the same time. It's difficult, and you're moving towards celebration. You're moving towards a milestone, Scorpio. Open up to new knowledge. Open up to new. Um, I'm going to pull more cards on this uh, situation here and see exactly what's going on. But I feel like you're ready to make a big shift, Scorpio, this week. Four of Wands. Yes. Okay. So you're leaving something or it's the end of something, or it is something that's really bothering you because you have to make a decision. You're shifting. You're, you're working a lot, or you're, you, you, you have to prioritize and plan out certain things, sort out certain things, and make certain decisions. Um, take it easy. Take it easy, Scorpio. Take it easy. It's okay. Step by step. Assess step by step. Realign yourself. These shifts are nothing more than those mini shift of directions that you've had for the past month, even years. Every week is a different energy. Every week is realigning yourself um, and, and, and celebrating yourself in understanding that these are new energies with the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows and you are transforming yourself still continuously, step by step. It's successful. You're pushing forward. You're determined to push forward, except that maybe it's not going fast enough and there's frustration going on here, anxiety, something is at a halt here or something is um difficult in your mind um is it a big transformation and you're not ready is it that transformation of a lifetime it's because it's a milestone and you are juggling a lot of things you are sorting out a lot of things is it something that is okay Five of Swords. I'm actually going to put a Five of Swords here. Ego. Ego situations. Day-to-day -day ego. What is going on, Scorpio? You are making a big decision. I feel, like, I feel like this Three of Swords is a difficult decision to make. Maybe it involves quitting a job. Maybe it involves the end of a job. Maybe it involves you know, less money and you're freaked out. So you're saving your money because you, you, you need to make that shift. You need to make a decision on a job, on a career path or in a, or in a different direction. And you're, you're a little freaked out for that. Why? Again, one, two, 
three, four major arcana here, you're planning different. You're 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 opening up to different. You're going to a different country or you're you're doing a different job, you're changing careers. It's complete complete change. But it's complete change change as it has been, complete change for the last few months, years. So it's the rebirth within the rebirth. Maybe this one is more important than the others. Maybe this week is that week where you're aware that your life is going to change. You're aware that this path is the path of a lifetime and you do have to make more, uh, uh, these decisions are more important than usual. Um, you are completely rising up. You are completely bossing up judgment. You, you, you're, you're going on to something more important and you're ready, Scorpio. You're ready to act. You're ready to let go of that old self. You're ready to go, let go of those old anxieties. And you might be at the end of a path on a career. You might be on the end of a path of a job. Um, uh, but these um, thoughts and anxieties and ego situations are the end of that path, Ten of Swords. It, it's, it's you embarking and just uh, entering the navigation of the new you. You are a different person, Scorpio, whether you want it or not. You are aware. You are self-aware. You are highly intuitive. You know this is um, a transformation of a lifetime. And it's not something that is um, uh, easy, uh, with, with an easy flow, right? Although it's much better than it was before, you know that every step of the way, every decision of the way is about your heightened state of consciousness, your awareness, and you realizing the power of your intuition and you that you are seeking ways to develop your life, to develop your skills, to develop your 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 powers. You you're developing more. You're you're more important in this world. Allow this knowledge to flow. Allow this to flow at its own pace. It, maybe it's too um maybe it's too um overwhelming for you. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a milestone. It's important. You are sorting things out, you are making decisions and and assess. You have to take time to assess. You have to take time to assess every step of the way. Uh, the hangman is there to say patience, patience. And I think this is the frustrations and the heartfelt situations of having to deal with this over and over and over again. But look at this. One, two, three. Success. Success. Three of wands. Planning the future. Seeing the success in front of you. The success is there at the horizon. Equal give and take, something fair for you, fair game, whatever it is, whether it's a new job, a new career, starting the life, a life somewhere else. I feel like these readings, and I just did cancer, I feel like these weekly readings are more life, uh, life paths, soul paths, and actually, than actually career paths. But they're both, they're both. But yes, the new dynamic the pages, new dynamic, it is new, new enthusiasm. Um, and here you are with an ace of pentacles, Scorpio. It's, it's money coming in. It's an offer coming in. You are rising above. Your values are different. You're, you're, 
your mindset is now different. You have the chariot, you are driven, you are focused, and you are persistent in what you want. You are persistent in your goals. Whatever your goals are, whether it's that new career, whether it's getting that job or starting that business or just retiring early, right? Um, you are headstrong to make it happen. So exercise that willpower. You are, you are achieving your goals. You're holding your focus. Keep striving. Keep, keep moving forward. And... Assert yourself, be courageous, be bold in expressing your opinion, your desires, your ways to build your empire, your ways to shift forward. You, 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 you are and you know what you stand for. Absolutely, absolutely. But t take your time. Take your time. It's okay. Surrender to the opportunity to pause. Surrender to evaluate where you stand. You know, it is new again. It is new emerging again. It is one more time, more energy to, to challenge and more energy to develop. And so allow it and uh, pause and surrender. Um, it, it is something that is coming in a new offer a new financial offer and and judge a judgment is there to say it is a rebirth you're rising to something completely different let go of that old again scorpio again the transformation within the transformation four major arcana and an ace you're you're again at a crossroads and again with a significant choice and significant decisions and things to sort out Something is coming in again where yes you're 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 almost there Scorpio you're on that right path and it's successful but it is a rebirth so all the pieces are finally coming together is that what's freaking you out maybe right maybe because you know you're finally letting go that past you're finally letting go those last little pieces of your old self entering this new this new light you know you're ready to to take on the the, the the new and maybe that is anxiety driven maybe that these cards here are the last remnants of the that job the situation um the path you were on um or the path that you are on during this transition, Ray, knowing that maybe that was not yours, but you were going to keep that going until, you know, until you have this beautiful um, boost of energy into this, you know, the next level, entering the next level. If you have uh, watched any of my readings before, it is level after level after level, ascending, descending, just like, you know, aircrafts do, you know, everything is level upon level upon level. That's why every week is a different challenge. Every week is a different energy shift. Every week, different decisions, different, um, ideas and perspectives and, um, opportunities coming in so there are choices and decisions to make every week and this week same thing and there is a beautiful opportunity coming in and you have the emperor i don't know why i keep pulling cards from this deck let me move let me change decks um yeah so this is either an aries in your environment someone you're working with uh or a father figure or or someone uh, a manager a director or someone you look up to a some a leader some a decision maker so it can be the owner of a company uh the ceo the manager the director of a company that's offering you this um pentacle that's offering you a financial opportunity a new financial opportunity and if it's not that i think this has come up before uh but if it's not that it is you taking the reins taking control leading the way knowing exactly where you're going and you your perspective is on par your perspective is clear you are making your choices you are independent you are in control of your own life and you are not going 
to be um, uh, questioned or or let down by anybody because it's it's your choice, your decision, your path. All right, let's pull some more cards to see exactly what's going on here. I'm going to put the emperor over here with the um, the ace of pentacles. Sorry, let me just put these back in sync. There we go. Let's see why this. Um, why do we have this three of swords? Why is the three of swords here for Scorpio in this money and career reading? Aha. Uh -huh. Understanding. Understanding. You, you're, you're structuring Scorpio. Um, wow. It's, it's, it's almost like you are now entering that phase of of um of understanding and that process understanding the process of what already has been proven and worked in the past and you are going to oh okay you're not you're okay all right all right, it's the opposite. Got it. All right, so now I feel like this Hierophant is there. You do not want to repeat the past. You do not want that rigidity or that structure or that confinement that you felt in the past. You, you're letting that go. You don't want to deal with that anymore. Interesting. Okay. Um... And so now it's up to you to um, understand and just be wise. I think you're just wiser and more clairvoyant and we're more, you have more clarity on, um, on this path forward. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we have enough. Yeah. Yeah, focus forward. You're you're moving forward. It's it's a different it's a complete different approach. What made your structure before? What made you confident and comfortable before in organization, logistic, having logistics, having control a certain of your decisions? You you still do, right? You are completely in control just in a different way. You do not want to be confined. Um, and you can be also seeking counsel. You can be, uh, but, but you have a thorough understanding on how this is going to move forward and how no one is going to stand in your way. Knight of, Knight of Swords. You, you're, you're, this is, determination, pure determination to move forward in a completely different way and let go all these stigmas and these confinements and structures that probably people, you know, in a very conventional way where people wanted you to be a certain way, had to be in a certain structure, had to obey certain rules and regulations, almost like if you're in a corporate world or you're a teacher or you're in a, um, government position or you know something very conventional where you have to uh where you have to um be a certain way and 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 sort of uh, mold in to you know the the codes and regulations that you have to follow you're you're out of there you're out of there you're determined to pave your own path this time and not enter uh, someone else or a corporation or a company or uh, another person's uh, way of of uh, working. Mm, it's a very fascinating reading. I am trying to follow Scorpio. Yeah, you're letting that go completely. Bravo to you, Scorpio. This is another transformation within the transformation. This is very spiritual where you do not want 
You're letting go emotions. It's time to let go certain emotions. Whatever was still there, reminiscent, whether it's something uniquely in your mind or a situation, a job that you're letting go, uh, a certain situation that you're letting go that, that created an anxiety that sort of, you know, uh, put you back in that state where you, 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 you are not going back there. You're no longer working that way. You're no longer being, um, treated that way. And you are not, um, yeah, you are not associating yourself in any way, shape or form in, um, in a, in that type of rigidity and structure that you had before. Wow. It's, it's a very profound feeling and energy that I have, but you are letting go of that and you're letting go of that very, I want to say almost easily, even if we had the three of swords, even if it's something that, that was difficult for you, I want to say that it is easy for you to understand that you no longer connect with that and you're not going to deal with that kind of BS anymore because you, you, you're, you're, you're on to something so much more important to that. Um, wow, very, very profound, Scorpio, as usual. Complete transformation, but rising up again. But you have the chariot here, and, it, and it's, it's, it's understanding that these are the last negative energies that might be hurtful, but last energies that make you understand the last things that you're you're not going to deal with anymore so if people come back for example if people are coming back um you know after several years of the world situation coming back offering you a job or coming back offering you to uh connect with them again or you know work on a project or just work you know and and they're treating you the way they used to treat you before not realizing that there are three years in between, let it go, let it go, pass, pass. You know it's not your life anymore. You know it's not for you anymore. Move on, Scorpio, move on. It's that, it's that resurrection, but with your new energies. And so whoever is connecting with you, believing that they can still belittle you or, or manipulate you or condescend you or just tell you as it is no Scorpio pass your way pass your way because I feel like this is something that was heavy on your heart and uh and I don't think you should um unless you have to right uh unless you have to and it's something it's the end of a job and you have to deal with it of course yes and or the end of a situation and you have to move on and it's heavy yes i'm not saying it's easy but i'm saying don't connect with something that's harmful don't connect with negative energies because that is not going to boost you forward in your progress and you have two times the judgment two times the judgment which is so much in <laughs> so much importance in your life you know the judgment is about understanding that the um the clarity of your rebirth the clarity of your new start, your inspiration, your clarity um, in this new path. All right, let's see if we have more cards here. Yes, again, the high priestess. It's all about clarity. It's all about accepting your new self and accepting that you're even highly, even more highly aware, right? As a Scorpio, as a water sign. And, and you're even, your, your intuition is just so high up there that you can triage. I have, I have said that before. You can triage the energies that come in and out and, and know exactly if, you know, you can work with these energies or not. So pass or go, pass or go. That is how to do it because you're ascending to something very important. And as you ascend to something very important, you cannot 
let even the smallest little thing let you uh, let you you know bring you down you are on to something magnificent Scorpio so yes here you are balanced understanding uh, there for others um, guiding others helping others and listening to others right you have you always have an ear you always there to listen and guide others in helping in analyzing their situation so make sure you help yourself in analyzing your own situation scorpio that's important too above all you come first scorpio remember the lesson remember the journey has been all about you come first now your power doesn't come from others your power comes from from within your power doesn't come from the negative of, the, of others to prove yourself or to just to prove that you know how to manage negative no your power now comes from love and from within and from trust and confidence that you're a loving and positive person and that is how you connect with positive and optimism around you project positive project love project optimism and that is what will come around tame that tame that negative tame that pessimism scorpio take a breather take a breather it's all moving in the right direction it's all success and positive you just have to understand that in your head you do have to uh separate what is love and what is just power and and nonsense that can you know bring you down take a moment it's okay assess whatever it takes i always say you know meditating yoga running dancing um just hitting the gym or you know uh, reading uh, listening to music or just standing still or sitting still in silence or going you know outside for a walk or you know uh, make sure you um realign yourself when you feel lost or realign yourself when you feel those negative hits you know of energy uh and make sure you take care of yourself always first and then you'll re-energize right four of four of swords understanding that every time you feel that um stagnation or blockage or call it as you wish or negative vibes or people just that you don't want in your circle take a moment take a step back realign and 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 just calm the energies and just know that you you are moving in an amazing direction it might not be as fast as you want and it might be over and over oh my when is this going to finish when are it's never it never finishes but your progress and your acknowledgement of who you are and where you stand in your life and how important you are and your your importance on your path and in, your importance in in your life and your community and the the um the trajectory that you have is is something that is so powerful that you have to acknowledge and you have to take a step back once in a while to realign and reassess. Okay, all another profound reading for Scorpio. This is a week of realignment. If you feel the, it's, it's, it's another profound rebirth, profound choices, crossword, crosswords, crossroads. Uh, sometimes I have marbles in my mouth. Um, and there is, I think that this offer here is a trigger for you. Oh my, you know, it's a big, big crossroads. It's a big crossroads for you. And I think that is affecting your decision to, do I leave this comfort zone for that completely new 
is this the rebirth where I leave that comfort zone or sort of comfort zone or the several jobs or the career or whatever is that is this the time you have the strength no matter what you got this Scorpio you have the stamina you have the strength you have the intelligence to maneuver to make this happen and to make the right choice whatever choice it is for you Scorpio let's see if there's one last message for the road and of course always long readings what is the last message for the road for Scorpio new yes new again innovative new new path new energies fresh it's every week new every week a new discovery every week a shift right so go for it Scorpio you're in your path, you're in your control, you're in your power, you're in your power, no matter how difficult it is, you are in your power and you're in the right direction. Go for it, Scorpio. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. Share your journeys, connect with me. Let me know where you situate yourself in the world if you connect with me. That is how I find my energies and pushing forward in my path. So thank you so much to each and every one Scorpios, especially you, for pushing forward and helping me in my path. Uh, and if you've just stumbled upon this reading and feel you connect in one, some way, shape, or form, um, please, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. Um, I will see you soon. The monthlies are up uh, and the three-month predictions are up for July, August, September if you want to take a look at those. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.